Okay, class, today we're going to go through question 23. If you take a look at the question, right, they say that A is a tank with dimensions of 10, 15, and 9. Okay, and they say that A, this tank, is then completely filled with water. After that, you're supposed to fill the, all the water from tank A into these small cubes measuring 2cm by 2cm by 2cm. So, the first question asks you how many of such cubes are needed so that all the water in tank A is transferred to all these cubes. Okay? So, what you have to find is how many of such small cubes. How many 2cm cubes in other words? Okay, if you remember what we have learned recently about how to measure the amount of things, we have to use volume. Okay? Okay, from what you have learned recently, right? Volume of a cube is given as length times breadth, times height. Okay, for this tank A, it is 15 by 10 by 9. And if you press the calculator, you'll get 1350 cubic centimeter. Okay, similarly for the small cubes, to find the amount of water they can contain, must have the volume. Okay, for cubes, it's simply length cube, right? Because all the sides are the same. So you take two cubes, which will give you eight cubic centimeter. Now, how do you know how many cubes do you need to transfer all the water from tank A? The numbers are very big, right? So maybe some of you can't visualize, but if let's say you just relate it to your home, let's say if you have a jug of water at home, you know how your mom always asks you to drink water, if let's say your jug is 3 liters and you have 1 liter cups, how many of these 1 liter cups do you need? 3, right? And how do you get 3? You simply use this number, divide by the volume of the jug divided by the volume of the cup. So similarly here, the number of cubes needed will be this volume here divided by the volume of the cubes. Okay? So you take 1350 cubic centimeter divided by 8 cubic centimeter. Remember, do not write the units in the middle of your working. Huh? So if you press calculator once again, you'll get 168.6. Now, do you have 168.6 cubes? Is that possible? What this means is actually just 168 plus 0 0.6, right? So you have 168 cubes plus this remaining water. What do you do with it? You throw it, no, right? They didn't ask you. They, they, they told you they want all the water from tank A to be transferred. So you have to round up this value to 169. It doesn't matter that the last cube is not completely filled. Okay, now let's move on to question B. If you look at part B, right, they give you a block of wood instead of a tank, but with similar dimensions. So again, you'll have a cuboid measuring 15 by 10 by 9. But now this thing is of wood. Okay. And they ask you 
a carpenter wants to cut as many 2cm cubes from B, from this block of wood. So how many of such cubes can be cut from B? So you want to make this into small cubes, measuring by 2cm by 2cm by 2cm. Okay, the first step that you should do, right, because it might be hard to visualize, you just take this side first. The rectangle measuring 15 by 9. Okay, we can redraw this. Similarly, for your 2cm cubes, you just take one side. Actually, you take any side is fine because they are all the same. Okay, if you try to fit in the 2cm cube squares, right? I mean 2cm squares. Let's say for we we take the side with the with the length of 9 cm first. How many of how many 2 cm can you fit into this line of 9 cm? 4, right? Because 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? So you have a remaining of 1 cm here that you can't cut anymore because it's not it's less than 2 cm. So if you do the same thing for your 15 cm cube side, the 15 cm one, you can get 7 because 7 times 2 is 14. And again, you'll have 1 cm cube left over here that you can't use. Right, so now can you see that your 9 by 15 rectangle, right, essentially becomes an 8 by 14. Okay, because you can't use the 1 cm sides. So if you extend this to the block of wood, you take the other remaining measurement. and you take the, the remaining measurement of the cube, which is still 2cm, you can get exactly 5. So here, you don't need to cut, you don't need to, to exclude, to exclude any part of the wood anymore. So, your block of wood essentially becomes a wood measuring 8 by 14 by 10. Okay? So if you do the same Working as your part A, you find your volume of your wood. Now you have 14, 8 times 14 times 10. Right? Which will give you 1120 cubic centimeter. Alright? For the volume of the cube, it's the same. You just take length cube, which is 2 cube, 8 cubic centimeter, and the number of 2 cm cubes that you can cut will be again this volume divided by this volume. Which will be 1120 divided by 8. This should give you 140 cubes. Exactly. Okay? So, one thing to note you have to make sure that you do not account for this 1 cm extra. I know some of you might be tempted to do like how you did in part A, whereby you just take 
calculate the volume of the wood, which is 1350 divided by 8, and then just divide, divide them accordingly, and you get 168.6, and you tell me that, oh, I run down now because I can't form 2 cm cubed with the remaining 0 0.6. That will be correct if you can glue all these remaining woods, 1 cm cube woods. Okay? But the question never say that you can glue, right? They, they, they only tell you that you are supposed to cut from this block, big block of wood. Okay? Before we end off, something for you to think about. For the part B, we are given 2 cm cubes, right? What if I'm not given a cube? What if you want to cut into a small cuboid instead? Will, the, will your working be the same? You go home and think about it and we'll go through the next lesson. Thank you.